Right, welcome ladies and gents. This seems to be a pretty played out narrative. Obi-Wan Kenobi is being review bombed uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. And then they link that with supposed, and I will say supposed because we don't know, we, we don't actually know the motivation behind what they're claiming to be racist attacks. Um, and I don't know whether I would equate one or two comments as being that. From what I can see, there seems to be, near universally, from commentary anyway, no slant on her race. It's more the fact that this individual, this character, in most commenters' mind, isn't fully fleshed out. And seems to be taking, well, pushing Obi-Wan Kenobi as a, as a backseat character in his own series. That seems to be what I can figure out from you know taking a look at stuff but we get articles like this which sort of g up you know that sort of narrative um and i think in fairness you know review bombed what are we calling a review bomb now just normal reviews that they didn't like it like what what's that you know what's that that's silly so they and, and the thing is the, what i think what annoys me about this more is that this shouldn't be a surprise because it's not like websites like this, you know, uh, comicbookmovie.com or Deadline, Hollywood, Hollywood Reporter, all these other websites. It's not like they aren't aware people didn't like or, or don't like the new Star Wars series, right? You know, not not necessarily the new specifically Star Wars series, this, only one Kenobi, uh, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, but more, you know, generally speaking, Disney Star Wars. This should not be a surprise to anyone. So I feel like this is a very disingenuous article and, and also a disingenuous stance to take from many outlets. But let's check it out nonetheless. Uh, for whatever reason, there are a lot of Star Wars fans who have an issue with a black actor playing one of Obi-Wan Kenobi's lead villains. I, I Honestly, I don't think it... From what I can see, like on Twitter... The Star Wars official Twitter, you know, whenever they post something and people reply, it's got nothing to do with the fact that she's black. And most people have been calling for Mace Windu to return. So it seems a very strange narrative to push. Undoubtedly, there will be racist people. Undoubtedly, there will be people that have an issue with the fact that she's black. Of course there will. But they are in the minority. We are, of course, referring to the heinous racist abuse aimed at Moses Ingram. And after Lucasfilm and Ewan McGregor spoke out in her defence... Those same fans have found a way to attack the show. Again, I just don't see it. I don't see what they're saying. As of last night, Obi-Wan Kenobi's audience score on Rotten Tomatoes uh, had sunk to a lowly 57%, uh, and it's since bounced back up to 61%. On one hand, why can you have it that it's being review bombed? Because it's, you know, it, it's sunk to 57%. But then you, you can't comment on the fact that it's bounced back up? Surely that's a... Uh, Surely that's trolling positive comments. I guess, you know, the same sort of logic can be used here. It's a very strange stance to take. Um, but one glance at the negative reviews point to trolls. It's always trolls, ladies and gents. So there are a, far, a fair few that appear valid in their criticisms. There you go. So you acknowledge that there's valid criticisms. Or people appearing to have legitimate gripes, which aren't just trolling. But then... Uh, they lump in it all into the same category as the others that attack Ingram directly and make some baffling comments about the show. Uh, like it being unable to live up to the greatness of the prequels. Seriously. Now, so uh, let's just, you know, let's take a look. So, many Star Wars uh, Disney properties have been the victim of review bombing. They say this all the time. Captain Marvel is not the victim of review bombing. At all. Um, and then they say, and, and this is this is how they how they change stuff. This is erosion of history right before our eyes. Captain Marvel came under fire because Brie Larson didn't smile enough. That that was not why. At all. <sighs> very strange comment, but never mind. Very, very strange comment. So, ladies and gents, let's see what is supposedly so, you know, ist, ist the racist and, you know, horrendous and all this kind of stuff, shall we? Let's see what these trolls are saying. And let's see if it fits that narrative. Uh, Disney Star Wars is horrible with multiple continuity issues and poor writing. Read Kenobi from 2013. Much better take on this time period. 
I don't see race mentioned there, but all right, fine. Uh, very disappointing. I had high hopes for this series, but was let down again by the poor writing and overall quality of the show. Huh. Maybe quality of shows indirectly affect black people, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling to see whether racism is here. Oh, the writing is awful and storyline is dull. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't see it. Uh, grateful to Disney for giving us the most miserable and cowardly side of an iconic Star Wars character. Right, I mean, that's... That's not related to her at all. That's uh, that's a dig at Obi Wan Kenobi. Interesting. Uh, where is all this racism? Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen are the only redeeming factors of the series, but even they aren't able to stop this dumpster fire of a series. Visually, this looks like the lowest budget Star Wars anything since the Holiday Special or the Ewok movies. The plot is meh at best, creating more plot holes and fixing them. Star Wars has never been great at continuity, but the issues here are just as infuriating as it ruins things that were great about the original films. Uh, and ultimately, the cringiest thing in the show appears to be the directing. I, there's, mm, there's no mention thus far. I don't see any mention at all. I'm struggling here. You know, I go to these things with open minds. You know, people shout... They tout racism all the time, and, and, and I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll go and have a look, and we'll, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is comments about Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. Hmm, Disney, the writing, the directing. Very odd. I, I was expecting mountains. Mountains! I mean, this is, this is supposedly re review-bombed. By trolls. None of these are trolling. These seem to be pretty standard. Good job ruining characters in the law. I mean, even that, as short and sweet as it is. Uh, yeah. It's sad when the show is named after a supporting character. I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. I don't see the trolls. I see what seems to be legitimate criticism from people. I think this is absolutely fine. I think, you know, why not? If you didn't like the show, you're entitled to your voice. Very strange. Where is it? It must be lurking. You know, it must be hiding underneath. I don't know, a, a couch or something like that. All this racism. So let me know what you think. Did you see any? I didn't. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way but also not only that you do get to wear some awesome merch these are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me by my graphic designer we of course have our clown world line which is uh, in mugs hoodies t-shirts we've got space jeebus uh, and then for something a little bit different we of course have right down at the bottom right here we have our pulsar gtir also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.